Hi decorators, it's me, Liz Larson, back with the Art of Frosting. It's grad season, and it's also hectic season. Grad season comes right in the middle of bridal season, on top of baby shower season, everything season. It's kind of one of those designs that falls to the back burner, and we often need to do it really quickly. If you're a pro, you may do a hundred of these in a season. Or if you're the only decorator in your family, you may get asked to do five or six. So it's great to have a quick one in your back pocket. And this is it. It's a super fast, super easy cake. You'll also notice that it's small. Did you ever notice that the graduate usually comes home for five minutes for their party and then is back out the door to their all night party or, or trip? So just an individual cake is actually a great idea. So I want to show you how to do this one quickly. Let's get started. So I've got my white candy melt poured out here and I let it dry for about five minutes and you can see that I can touch it, but it's not completely dry yet. So I've cut out my five by five piece of cardboard and this is just a piece of cardboard from the back of a notebook. And you can see that I've tested it out on top of my cupcake already to make sure it's the right size. So you wanna do that. You don't wanna let this get too hard because it will crack. I like to use my board, but then also a ruler. I can go past my ruler, or past my board with my ruler. That's okay. But I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this all the way out and then go ahead and leave it until it's completely firm or stick it in the fridge for a few minutes. That way it's completely solid by the time you want to use it. Again, you probably want to make two or three of these just to make sure that they don't break. So I'm just trimming the top of a two inch cake or a cupcake. You just want it to be at a slant so that the top of your cap has the grad cap slant. So basically just a two inch cake or cupcake cut about like that. So you're just gonna stick your grad cap right in the middle of your cake and give it your quick icer all the way around. And if you're really slick at this, you may not even have to smooth the side. I am not so slick at it and I'm gonna have to. So I like to put a straw down through just to make sure everybody's nice and secure. It also gives just a tiny bit of support for the cap. Next, we're just gonna take our number 23 star tip and with a light pressure, just a straight shell around the base of the hat. And another bigger straight shell around the base. I told you guys this was going to be really basic and really fast. So this is the slick part. Now we're going to use our color striping. So all schools have two colors. Just happens that in our area, blue and white is the big one. So you want to put it the blue, a thick layer of the blue up one side, get it all the way down into the point. Normally we're not too worried about that. And then with this, we're gonna take our white and bring it right back up the other side. That way I get both colors in one. I don't have to make two different color roses. So I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna put a banner around the side. Well, it's actually garland, but it's gonna look like those traditional graduation banners that they always put up and you see I'm getting both colors which is great. So this is just a squeeze, come around and a quick U at the end. Even pressure and a quick U. So you guys have seen me make a rose on a stick a hundred times and that's all I'm doing. I'm just making some small rose or rose buds just with three layers, not four, and just placing them right in here. Now, if you don't know how to make a rose yet, do a different flower, but if you don't know how to make a rose yet, I suggest you learn really soon because it adds so much to your repertoire. And I will attach the how to make a rose on a stick video in the description section. It's got a parchment that I'm gonna cut a V in the end 
You guys have seen me do this before too, just to make an impromptu leaf tip. Go ahead and add some leaves in and around your flowers. Or you can leave it without if you prefer. I happen to like the little bit of relief of the green. Okay, so basically that is your cake. Now we just add our cap. And then we're just gonna do a short tassel. So in our grad cap cake last year, we did a really long one and had it really hang off. And we're not gonna do that this year. We're just gonna do our knot. And then just bring it down a little, not all the way off the end. And just fill that in. You have a nice little tassel. And this cake is nice and deliverable. For you pros, you don't have to be concerned about the tassel breaking like we did on the one last year. It was a cool tassel, but it wasn't so convenient. So I hope you guys had fun learning how to do this one. It is quick. If you're a pro, make a bunch of these uh, candy melt tops and just have them around so you can throw this all together. If you're making a number of these cakes, the color striping trick works great. You just keep refilling the bag with your same two colors. Be careful that they're not contrasting colors. If they're like yellow and red, sometimes that'll make brown. So just be careful with that. You might put a, want to put a white in the middle. So you guys can find me at www.theartoffrosting.blogspot.com where there's a whole body of my work, a big catalog there where you can look up cake decorating ideas. We're having a lot of fun over at Facebook at The Art of Frosting where great decorators just like you are sharing their work. And we have monthly contests where you can win a prize. You can find me at Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com at The Woodshop TV. There you can find my jewelry that you guys have been asking for and a lot of cool projects from Carl Jacobson at the Woodshop TV channel. Lots of cool wood churning projects you can see there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all again really soon.